this thing on? All right, hey guys, what's going on inside Home Theater Dude, and what do I think is the best home theater setup? I really believe that a 7.2.4 is gonna be the best home theater setup for pretty much any one space. So now the major motion picture studios are releasing movies directly to us via streaming. So now we may or may not be going back to the theater anytime soon, and in the, in the meantime, you guys can really enjoy some stuff at home. Uh, with, with your own home theater. So now let's go ahead and face it. A lot of us that are building a home theater, we're roughly around the same age. So now you have to think about a couple different things. So the good, fast, cheap triangle, um, you can only have two of those. So you, you pick your two favorites. You could take away the fast part and put it in wife acceptance factor. So that, that's one of the things that you have to consider. So now the wife can approve of something and it can be cheap, but it may not be any good. So like I'm saying, you have to pick two. So now for a 7.2.4 means you need 11 speakers and two subwoofers. So now think about this, every speaker that's gonna be on the front stage is gonna be roughly around $500. And each pair of speakers besides that, so each pair of surrounds and each pair of uh, height effects are gonna be roughly around $500 as well. So if you factor all that in, that's roughly around 4,500 bucks. I mean, obviously you can get things cheaper, you can get things more expensive, basically what's important to you. So the next thing you're gonna wanna need is an AVR, an AV processor to run all those, those channels that you have. So now uh, a nine or 11 channel AVR is gonna be roughly between $1,500 and $2,100. Okay, so there's two things that you don't wanna skimp on. It's your front stage, your left center and right speakers, and also your subwoofers. The subwoofers, even if you have not so great of speakers, it's really gonna bring the whole experience up. If you buy once, cry once, you, you spend the, the good money on a really good set of subwoofers, or even just one. I mean, you, you can build all this as you go. You don't have to buy a lot at once. So now if you get a really good set of subwoofers, it's really gonna help the overall experience and you're really gonna enjoy it that much more. So besides that, the only other thing that I'm gonna talk about is probably power conditioners. You guys may or may not believe in them. I highly recommend plugging every single component into a power conditioner of some sort. You don't want electric storms to come through or you know a surge of any type frying your electronics. I've seen it happen to people with TVs, their projectors, I've seen it happen to subwoofers. Um, you just don't want it to happen to you. So every single thing that's connected to any part of your system, make sure it's protected. Well, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure you check down in the description. We're gonna go ahead and leave links for all that stuff. So you guys wanna talk AV gear, you can give me a call, shoot me an email, I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for all the love and support. It's been an incredible journey. Catch you guys next time.